welcome my friends welcome to the witches chambers my name is Anya thank you guys so so much for joining me today on this another <laughs> timeless reading okay I don't know why why I'm stalling situation may have been stalled for you I'm hearing Everybody, thank you guys so, so much for those of you guys who have made a comment on my most recent reading. Um, thank you for your comments, for your opinions pertaining to the circus that I have been dealing with. Um, just so you understand, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere, but I just needed to get the frustration out of my system. So I feel like some of you guys, this is exactly what you should do. Okay, and I have mentioned it in the last reading. By the way, what I have done, everyone, I have included the timestamps. Okay, I have added timestamps to the last reading. That way you can always go back and you can watch a particular day um, that you have assigned for yourself. All right, so I made timestamps from day one to day seven. All right, so this is just for your convenience. Thank you guys again so, so much for everything that you guys are doing to the channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Anya and I am an energy channeler. Okay. Some call it psychic, some call it medium, some call it um, readers, tarot readers. I'm, I'm referring to myself as a channeler. Okay. Because that's what it all comes down to about channeling the energy that that I'm receiving. Everybody, there's a major new, new, new that is heading your way. Literally, I've seen not one, not two, not three, but four aces. Okay, so if you guys um, are thinking about playing a lottery, now is the now is a good time because I feel like you have a higher chance of winning. Okay, you have a higher chance of becoming victorious, of becoming lucky in whatever it is that you may be doing. So there are a lot of new, new, new energy heading your way, whether that's at work, at home, when it comes to your love life, when it comes to starting your new project. Don't be surprised, everyone, if if you if a deal comes through for you. Don't be surprised if you get a new job offer. Don't be surprised if someone new reaches out to you, if you meet someone new, whether a friend or a lover. Um, don't be surprised to shake someone's hand. I feel like there's going to be a lot of shaking. Okay, a lot of meetings, a lot of agreements will be made, a lot of new projects will be started. Okay. Um, for some of you, what I heard from Spirit, I heard the phrase or the title of a horror movie, by the way, um, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Okay, so what is in the cradle? What do you find normally in the cradle? You find the baby, okay. And the hand is basically, at least in this movie, is um, is a hand of an evil individual. It's a hand of an evil nanny. So I feel like what Spirit's message is for you pertaining to that phrase is that you need to, quote unquote, be careful whom you share your good news with, with whom you sign the new contract with. That's for some of you. Okay. Be careful, I'm hearing from spirit. Who is standing? Who is standing to this brand new beginning? Because babies talk about new beginnings, okay? Ba babies symbolize new beginnings, and I feel like that's the message um, from spirit. Be careful. For some of you guys, really, really need to be careful, okay? Some of you guys, I feel like um, somebody will be stepping forward. To help you somebody will be offering you their hand right as i said that i saw 444 okay on the timestamp. so day four pertaining to yesterday's reading may be relevant to you if you guys have not seen 
the most recent reading that I did pertaining to your next seven days, I would highly recommend that you do that because you will find a lot of details pertaining to the, your next seven days. And I feel like this message is pertaining to, to day number four. Also, please, um, please review. Okay. Please look at angel number four, four, four. Okay. I feel like you're going to have someone coming and offering you their hand, offering you support, offering you their help. I'm hearing. Okay. So there's an energy of help heading your way. Something is going to be made right. I feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys will be shaking hands with someone whom you had a disagreement with, with someone that you have not been seeing eye to eye with. Now I feel like there's an energy coming in of, of making peace with the situation, with the person. Yes, that's what I feel. Major energy of peace and major energy of brand new beginnings, my friends. Okay. Now, again, be careful because for some of you guys, some of you guys may encounter someone that wants to dominate you, someone that wants to, quote unquote, control you. Okay, so be careful of that energy. All right. Just going to move. There's something about the color brown. I'm really being drawn to to the color brown on this candle and and on these crystals here. There's a lot of grounded energy. And this, if you don't feel grounded, if you have been feeling unstable, then grounding is what you should be concentrating on. You need to ground your energy. Okay, especially if you have been going through. Some sort of a chaotic time right now. Okay. So. Let's get a general vibe. What spirit wants to talk about. What we need to know. I'm hearing somebody saying, please leave your door open. Okay. Okay. Leave your door open. Do not close it. You might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a strong earth energy coming through. Or you might be that sign, my friend. Okay. Spirit. What do you want to talk to today about? What do you want to reveal? What needs to be revealed? Be spirit for the collective security this is all about that stability that brown energy okay i feel like my friends i feel like your security is very important to you you may have been working on your security i feel like you're finding comfort and security at at your home security is where the home is i'm hearing some of you guys I'm hearing you will be securing a deal when it comes to some sort of a dwelling of yours, a home, um, a cottage, but it sounds somewhere that you're leaving, you will be securing a deal. Okay. What else, spirit? I feel like more energy wants to come through. Securing a deal. That's what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, there's a spring talks about brand new beginnings. And this is what I was just discussing. Okay. Spring brings new growth, new life. Things are about to be brought to life for you, my friend. Okay. Especially when it comes to your security. There's something about a letter S with the spring and security. There's some sort of a security that you're about to sign. There's some sort of a security that's heading your way. That's going to provide a lot of growth for you, my friend. Okay. Interesting. And one more. I'm being guided to, to 
pull on one more energy. What is this one? Water cleansing. It's funny why this card came out. And let me tell you why. I am about to do a salt reading for you. And salt is all about cleansing, about purifying. So I'm not surprised that this card came out. You might be a water sign. You might be dealing with Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Who's going to provide that security for you. Who's going to be like a security for you. Okay. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you're releasing. You're currently in the energy of releasing someone or an energy, negative energy or energies that do not belong in your life anymore. Okay. I'm hearing for some of you guys, you guys need to perform some sort of a cleansing, some sort of a cleansing healing when it comes to your home. If you want to feel more secure, that's what I'm hearing. For those of you guys that do not feel secure, this is exactly what you should do. Cleanse your home. Okay? Perform cleansing. You can find many videos, many articles on how to do that. Okay? But there's an element of cleansing. Cleansing, purifying. Wow. Something will be made right for you guys. I'm being drawn to the bottom. I feel like I want to read this to you. By the Vican law, we ye must. Okay. In, perf in perfect love, in perfect trust, eight worlds the Vican riddle fulfill. Pan ye harm none. Okay. Do as ye will. And ever went the rule of three. What does it say here? What ye sent out comes back to thee. Okay, so in other words, whatever you you send out into the world, whatever energy you're projecting out into the world, this is the energy that is going to come back to you. Okay. Follow this with mind and heart. And marry ye meet and marry ye part. He says. Interesting. So abide by the rules, my friends. Okay. I feel like this is the main message. Abide by the rules. Whatever contract you are about to sign. Okay. Read the rules. Read the fine print. Okay. Abide by, by law. Okay. All right. So, my friends, let's see what is happening. And everybody, if you're new here, uh, there's always a reason why I do certain things in a reading. And I'm just turning the wheel. The wheel is about to turn. The wheel is about to move. That's what I'm hearing. And right as I said, the word the move, I saw 1313 on the timestamp. Okay. Interesting. So, pay attention to number 13. So in yesterday's reading, I mentioned number 12 and I'm mentioning number 13, right? So from 12 to 13, that indicates progression. That indicates movement, okay? Interesting. For some of you guys, there's something that is coming back to you. There's a cycle that has wrapped up with someone that is returning to you. Or it's like a situation is coming back to you. Interesting. Interesting. For some of you guys, I'm hearing is a situation that has ended in spring. I'm being drawn to the word spring. This situation is coming back. Because there's something, some, so, some sort of an energy that needs to be cleansed when it comes to that situation that you were dealing with. Okay. That's why it's coming back. Because it needs to be cleansed. It needs to be purified. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. For some of you guys, this has to do with some sort of a security. Okay, someone that you share the home with, um, something to do with a home. Okay, interesting. That has ended in spring. It's returning back. All right, so let's dive into your reading, my friends. What is happening? Spirit, what is happening? Some of you, there's a situation you have been left out in the cold.
it's an interesting energy there's something I'm hearing about the chunks I'm being drawn to the chunks of salt something I'm hearing more chunky chunks of energy I'm hearing from spirit have been it's like your energy has the negative energy the things that are no longer serving you the things that need cleansing and purifying have been removing or have been removing from your life in chunks okay so there has really been i'm hearing from spirit no flow okay it's like I'm hearing it's like the energy has been removed in chunks. So it's like it may have seemed to some of you guys like these chunks were sort of to speak like a tower. These chunks have created a tower. Okay. Because literally they were removed from your life in, in chunks. In a very heavy, heavy energy. Okay. Interesting. You may be wearing a chunky sweater. I'm hearing there's something about the word chunky. Okay. Let's see what is happening for you. Situation is going to stabilize itself. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. A chunky energy will be will beginning to flow. Because I feel, I'm hearing from spirit and I feel it that these chunks, okay, of energy, they have created blockages, blocks in your life. They have presented themselves as challenges. That's why I'm hearing from spirit the word tower. These chunks have created many towers in your life, okay? like a mini tower was happening one after another after another this all this may be what is heading towards you okay because remember not everyone not every one of us is at the same timeline okay so for some of you guys this is what is heading interesting something about number three and about letter e okay Three E's, I'm hearing. Some of you guys are saying goodbye. And it's out of your own doing. Interesting. You have your price on something. You have your eye on something. You know what you want. You're very focused on something that's in the middle. There's something about a car wheel I'm hearing. Again, I feel like something is coming back. A situation is coming back. Somebody is about to turn their wheel and come back what is happening spirit please I'm seeing a palm tree Palm trees talk about security and stability. And this is exactly the energy that we're seeing here. Expect the situation. Expect for your emotions to stabilize themselves. That's what I'm hearing. You have been going through a cleansing. That's why we saw the chunks of, of salt. Okay. That for some of you guys have been creating blockages in your life. Okay. But this energy, nevertheless, needed to be removed. Okay. Let's 
seeing a letter V. You might be dro driving a specific car. It's an electrical car. Has like a V symbol and something at the top. I'm also hearing Florida, so you might be from Florida. You will be wearing hat. You will be wearing your hat. Some of you guys like. I feel like you're coming. Okay, you're coming to. Um, a new position, a new project. You're starting a new project. You're baby. You're about to wear. I'm hearing from spirit a different hat. Okay. I'm seeing someone sitting, okay, right here with their head bent, their body. And it's like they're holding this hat. Interesting. This hat, my friend, is being offered to you. Because literally I'm seeing this person literally bowing to you and offering you this hat. Interesting. I want to see what this hat is all about because this is like staring in my face. See, this is actually a witch's hat. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and I'm seeing a bat, a situation right here. I'm seeing somebody literally bowing, giving you the hat and I'm seeing a bat. So you might be some of you guys, you might be, you know, intuitive, you might be psychics, you might be a witch, you know, practicing witchcraft. Or this is what you're about to do. This is what you're being prepared to do. Okay. This is for someone. But I feel for the majority, okay, you're being presented with an offer of wearing a new hat. And I want to see what this new hat is all about, guys. Just bear with me for a moment. But you'll be offered, you'll be presented with. And if this person is like graciously presenting this offer to you, it's like I'm picking up this energy. You deserve it. You deserve it because there's an energy that you have released. You have clenched yourself from impurities. Okay. You have found security. Okay. Within yourself, within your home, within your energy. And this hat is being presented to you. I'm also picking up hangman's energy with the bat being here. But this bat is not hanging upside down anymore. This bat is flying. So I feel like a situation that has been hanging, so to speak, that has been in a hangman's position, is about to fly. Okay. And I, I don't feel like you're seeing it coming, I'm going to be honest. Normally, bats fly at night, right? So I don't feel like you're seeing it coming. And normally, you don't see bats, right? Unless, you know, <laughs> unless you're out at night and you happen to stumble upon it, okay? What is this hat all about, spirit? Please. Well, some of you guys, oh my gosh, something is coming back for some of you guys. This is a opportunity, that is being returned to you. Okay. Literally, that's what I'm hearing. This is an opportunity. We see the eight of cups. We see the seven of cups. This is an opportunity that is being returned to you. Okay. This is something that I feel like you have imagined. You have been waiting for. This is something that, um, that has felt stuck or has been stuck has been hanging upside down okay and i feel like you will be making a choice and look what's interesting i cannot make this something about color blue as well look at this wizard this wizard is wearing this hat this is the exact hat that i'm seeing here so you look at this right here that i'm seeing in your salt okay 
my friend, this is something that you have been manifesting with the wizard being here on the Seven of Cups. There's always a reason why I choose certain decks, why I, why I mention certain things in the reading, my friend. You, I feel like you're being initiated to becoming this wizard, okay? There's again something about being intuitive about being a witch wizard, okay? You're stepping into a wizard role, my friend, okay? Because this is something I feel like you have manifested, okay? I feel like you have manifested, my friends, many options for yourself. It's like this energy of picking and choosing. What do you want? Oh, today I'm going to do this. Later on, I'm going to do this. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing that. Okay? Okay. You have manifested, my friends, many cups for yourself. Many blessings, many opportunities. Okay? Yeah, and there's something about the color purple. Look at this. There's something about color purple. So for some of you guys, I'm hearing this may have to do with speaking of some sort, with doing something with your voice. Okay, maybe that's educating people, maybe that's talking to people. Okay, interesting. What is this hat all about? Let's get some more energy. Again, Eight of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. What is this hat all about? Something that you have been manifesting, something that you have been waiting for. This is that waiting energy. This is that energy of the hanging bat. Okay, you have planted seeds way back when, my friends, okay, and this, and these seeds are finally arriving, these seeds are finally coming to you, these seeds are finally growing, okay, for some of you guys, I cannot make this up, that has to do with your speaking, seeing the king of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay, interesting, okay, let's move on. Because it's going to be different for everybody. But it's something that has been staleness. Something that has been in a hangman's position. Something that you have been manifesting. Something that you have been thinking about, my friend. Okay? What else is happening here? There is a union happening. I'm seeing an arrow. I'm seeing a circle. And I'm seeing a cross. There's a union happening, my friends. Between the feminine and the masculine. Some of you guys are coming into union with your masculine and your feminine energy. Those energies are about to be balanced out. That's what I'm hearing. For others of you, this is your divine partner heading your way. Okay. See an arrow? Right here, a circle. This is exactly what's happening. For others of you, there's also an element of ascension. And again, for <laughs> again, I'm hearing somebody is coming back. There's an opportunity. There's a mist. I'm hearing from spirit right now. There's a missed opportunity that's circling itself around. Okay, because this is exactly what I'm seeing right here. An arrow going up. So it's like an opportunity is reversing itself around coming back around towards you okay it's an opportunity it's a missed opportunity that's going to help you to grow that's going to help you to ascend my friend okay look i'm seeing two people one two two heads two bodies shaking hands you're about to like i said before and this is a spirit's confirmation you're about to sign a deal, some sort of a contract with someone. Some sort of a partnership is coming together. Okay? It's exactly this energy. Okay? Interesting. You currently may be 
I'm seeing this as a element of water. Okay, I'm seeing this as a sun or a moon. Okay. Spirit is asking you to reflect, to spend some time on your own. You may currently be watching sunrise or sunset. Okay. But there's an element of, there's something that's coming to an end. And I feel like it's time for you to reflect on what has happened in your life and, and where you're going, my friend. Okay. Because, quote unquote, you have new beginnings all around you. Okay. And you need to be smart enough and wise enough to make the right decision for you about what it is that you want what opportunity you want to take. Remember, we saw the Seven of Cups. And I feel like you need to... You need to know what it is that you want. That's the bottom line. Because you're about to be presented with opportunities, with brand new beginnings, okay? And you need to, before you can actually make the wisest and rightest decision, you need to reflect on your current life okay seeing this as a phoenix so there's a major change there's a major transformation happening right now okay There's something about the V Tesla. I don't know. I don't know why I'm hearing this. Um, interesting. Am I missing something? Maybe I need to stand up. <laughs> Somebody is about to receive standing ovations. <laughs> interesting. But isn't this Tesla sign? Maybe it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this image, everybody. That's why Spirit advised me to stand up. My friend, look at this image. You know what I'm seeing? This image right here. I'm seeing a keyhole. A keyhole, that's what I'm hearing. There's, um, there's a door. Okay. I feel you're about to glance through the he keyhole. And you're about to see what's on the other side. Some of you guys I'm hearing it's like you have received what's on the other side through dreams. It's like you had a dream about it, about your future life. Okay. But there's something about a key. I feel like you're about to be presented with a key or you already have the key. Okay. I feel like this key is a brand new beginning. Okay. Okay. And you are about to literally see the door and you're about to see this keyhole. Okay. And literally I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now somebody glancing through the keyhole. And right as I said that, so 33, 33 on the timestamp. Okay. So angel number 3333. I feel it's of significance here. But there's a keyhole. And it's really... See, it's very pronounced. It's like you you won't be able to miss it. You know what I'm hearing from spirit? I feel like, because for some of you, I feel like you have seen the door. You have already seen the door. The problem is that you were not able to find a keyhole. Okay? Because you were not able to find a keyhole, that's why you were not able to open this door. Okay? And finally, you're going to be seeing the keyhole. It's going to be very prominent. It's going to be literally. Um, it's like this energy. You won't be able to miss it. There's something about letter S. Look at this. Success. Spring. Security. And we see all those S's here. Again, I'm hearing from spirit for someone. Be careful of the snake. Be careful of the hand that rocks the cradle. Okay. Seriously. Because we're seeing that same as here. Be 
that keyhole is going to help you rise. Okay. What is this keyhole all about? It's like I'm hearing from spirit the keyhole has been there all this time. I feel like spirit has literally, I'm hearing it's like spirit has give, been giving you, um, has given you a glimpse of that what's behind the door. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. What is this keyhole all about? It's about your future life. It's about the door that you'll be finally able to open. Spirit, what is this keyhole about? You might be dealing with someone who has a big nose and small eyes. This is the, see, look at this image right here. See the big nose and two eyes. I feel like somebody has been watching you. That has small eyes and a big nose. For some of you guys, this person has literally been in your business, watching your stories, watching whom you're dealing with, um, has really been in your business for some of you. Okay, what is this keyhole all about? You, I'm here also hearing from Spirit, you will be seeing a way out, out of a situation. I'm hearing, now I'm hearing from Spirit, there's someone here who has been stuck between closed doors. With seeing no way out. With seeing no keyhole. I feel like you're going to be seeing a way out. You're going to be seeing that keyhole. Okay. It's like I'm hearing you'll be taking your keys. You'll be literally taking the key. Putting it in the keyhole. And you're going to be turning it. For some of you guys you will be closing a chapter in your life. That's what I'm hearing. You're going to be closing a chapter in your life. And at the same time, opening a brand new door, a brand new path for yourself. Well, look what's at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. That's the energy that I was mentioning before actually starting your salt reading. That's this brand new beginning. Some of you guys... There's a brand new beginning in love heading your way. Okay, with the Ace of Cups being here. When making a decision, okay, choose the option or the door or the path that's going to bring you the greatest happiness, that's going to bring you the greatest emotional fulfillment. That's what I'm hearing from Spirit, okay? Spirit, what is this? Keyhole, but the, again, that's a, that's a confirmation. That's a brand new beginning. <laughs> you might be in the you might be in the Queen of Swords energy currently. <laughs> Very stern. It's like, I'm, you know what I'm, the energy I'm picking up from her image. I'll I believe it when I see it. Okay, so some of you guys may be in that energy, wounded energy. Okay. You may have a very hard time believing in new opportunities, in new doors, in new paths, okay? It's like, come to me, come to me, I, and I see it, I believe it when I see it. That's really what I'm hearing, okay? Wow. We see the King of Pentacles and Victory. Six of Wands. Expect for Victory. You might be dealing with some of you guys, this is an opportunity. This is a brand new beginning. There's a king of pentacles. Some of you guys love related. For others of you, this is um, your future boss. Okay, or a person that you're going to be working for or with. Okay, there's an offer heading your way. He is carrying this pentacle. He has this pair of pentacle with him. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, this is... I'm hearing... I don't know why... I'm hearing wine business. You might be into wine. You might be Italian. Okay. Interesting. For others of you guys, there's a person um, that's currently very secure. I'm hearing from spirit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's the energy when I mentioned before studying your reading. That wants a reconciliation with you. Okay. That's returning. That's coming back. 
and we see the wrath. This person is coming in with an offer. Okay. And you might be in this energy. I'll see it when they come. I'll see it once it arrives, you know. Is there anything else pertaining to this key spirit, please? I'm hearing this person saying you have the key to my heart. Interesting. I cannot make this up. Look, everybody. Another ace. That's the energy. I'm telling you, there's new, new, new heading towards you from multiple directions. Some of you guys may be literally blocking this energy. And if that's you in this two of swords energy, I don't want to see it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't believe it. You need to do some cleansing on yourself and on your home. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Because there are chunks of, I'm hearing from spirit, chunks of negative energies that are lurking around you. That that's those this message is for those who have been literally blocking this. Okay. I feel like this message is for those of you guys who who are very pessimistic. I feel like this message is for those of you guys who have been stuck in an, some sort of a negative environment, negative energy. Please take care of what resonates. I'm not going to be naming, you know, every single possible scenario here. Okay, but I, you get my point. Okay, if that's you, you need to do some cleansing on yourself. Energetic cleansing, um, you know, light up some sage, whatever the situation is, whatever you can do. Okay, to remove, to get rid of that negative energy, my friend. Okay. What else? I mentioned the palm tree. I mentioned the Tesla electrical car. Uh, something is heading towards you. Seeing two wheels. Seeing like a duck on wheels. Listen to the wind. Winds of change. Winds. Of, this is why I'm hearing from spirit. Winds of change are heading your way, my friend. Interesting. There's movement. I'm also seeing these as birds. Two birds finally flying. Two birds finally free. So you may have been dealing with a situation, a person, because we see. I'm seeing two birds here. You may have been dealing with a with. A situation where you felt like both of you are stuck. That you were not able to move. You were not able to fly. Okay, you were stuck, quote unquote, between two doors. Both of you are about to fly. Both of you are about to feel free. Because that's what birds do. Birds fly. Birds were meant to fly. Birds were not meant to be stuck in a cage. Birds were not meant to be confined. Birds were not meant to be stuck between two doors. Okay. Interesting. Seeing the letter C. Some of you guys, there's a communication heading your way. But brand new beginning. Maybe dealing with musician, I'm seeing. A note, music note. Okay. But please, and I'm hearing from Spirit, please make a note on some sort of a music. Okay, I feel like you're about to hear some music, some sort of a lyrics I'm hearing. Pay attention to what these lyrics mean. Pay attention to what, to the words of this music, of this song. Okay, something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Interesting. Wow. All right, my friends, listen, I feel like I'm going to end it here and I'm seeing victory again. This is that six of wands energy. Look at this head to arms are stretched. My friend, victory is heading your way. It's pretty much right in the middle of your salt. Okay, you'll be soaring above the turbulent waters here, my friend. Okay, you're going to overcome them telling you okay so thank you everyone for being here with me for sharing your time for sharing your energy um the bats are about to fly okay 
that's why I'm here. Sending you guys peace, love, and abundance. All the best, health and wealth, and I'm going to talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for being here with me. Take care, and bye.